Testing. Testing, testing. There we go. What's going on, Raiders? How are you doing? How are you doing? We're not even ready. We're only three minutes in. We're in the early sesh. But Jesus, we're going to jump in here now. What's going on? How's everyone doing? Thank you. Yes, I was working on getting the audio set up. You, the moment you restart bits and pieces from resetting the bits and pieces, uh, resetting the, the stream after a day of turning the computer on, and like little things happen. One little thing happens constantly. So we had little audio issues to start with. What what were you doing? Long bed. It's long bed. What's going on, long bed? Well, we're streaming Green Devil. Let's jump on here and give you a little bit of a, a follow. Streaming some D&D. I love it. I love it. How did your session go? Tell me a little about it. Tell me a little bit about it. I'm going to put some lights on here. That's much better. Now you can actually see me. You can see all my stuff that isn't really on this bookshelf anymore, but is. Ice Pies Peak. I like it. I like it. Lots of dragons. Yes, because um, my sister had a hissy fit. She's like, that's my bookshelf. I'm like, okay, well, look, I just want stuff on the background because that's, that's all my nerd stuff. All that stuff is currently right next to me. Um, but, yeah, I just put it on there so it's all fancy. It's not actually there anymore. They're all my little hip hop, my hip hop heads, my uh, Lego Star Wars Darth Vader, and my X Wing. Some little other Lego kind of cars. All my Deadpool's limited edition Deadpool kind of thing. My drinking horn. That's important. Risk. If everyone's played Risk, that's the Game of Thrones version with some magic card decks and a D and D creature deck. My dice bag. Dice bag. Baldur's Gate, <gasps> my Bloodthirster, my Demon Prince, my a Demon Prince. La, 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 la. Yes. And Naruto. And Rick. And Naruto. You got the Crit, crit Magnet working at war tonight. You got the Crit Magnet. Oh, I assume that's uh, you've hit like every crit. I don't think anything will crit as hard as Herbitor, is who's in the channel. Uh, one of our players hit one session. Uh, we were playing variable uh, crit rules, where if you crit, you roll an extra D100, and he managed to roll with advantage. No, actually, did you roll with I can't remember, but you rolled two dice anyway. Nat 20, nat 20. Roll D100, nat D100. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, Crit Magnet. Right, okay, now I'm with it. My brain's my brain's still kicking in. I'm like, knock off work, come home, and just, like, brain kick it over. You, you, oh, yes, and you're all max on the dice. Yes, I forgot that bit. I wish for that all fair. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> we'll see if I'm the Crit Magnet or the party's the Crit Magnet tonight. Uh, we'll have to have a look. Oh, hoi, hoi. Cassandra in the house. Uh, recovering from a broken ankle and COVID. Oh, long bed. I hope I hope you've been good. Oh, I'm surprised you're still awake. I hope you're feeling better and don't have the COVIDs anymore. Don't have the Rogna. That's much better. The light on my face is very red. I'm very red in my cheeks today. Anyway. <laughs> Fade! What's going on, Fade? We're ready for a session. We got two other players waiting to come in. Still pretty early, but um, yes. We might jump in early. Just make sure everything's working. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Doesn't want to pull up the source. This is why we get in early and fix stuff. We just kick it off. So let's just get this. 
Create token. Get the right window capture. There we go. Bushka, Bushka, Bushka. Do you guys without symptoms now? Feel a lot better? I love it. I'm glad you're feeling better. I hope you're getting a full recovery. I hope you're not fully. Thank you, Google. Thanks, Google. Sorry, accidentally. I'm charging my doorbell and I just pushed the button accidentally as I picked it up and moved it. So she just wants to talk to everyone and let everyone know that the battery is charging. We'll see how we go. I think uh, a couple of people got a couple of crits. We'll introduce people to the world. This is the world. Um, I'm getting my session up right now. Here we are. So this is this is part of the world, the Lazanese Empire, for those that don't know. Enjoy killing lots of stuff. Ah, Dallas is here. Hello, Dallas. And not Anthakaira yet. Not Kara. On the way. She's on the way. Uh, we'll get some Sirenscape up. Should play some a little bit of music. Music, just a little bit of music. We're gonna be in a tavern, in a friendly tavern. Quiet corner near the fire. Actually, we're gonna say almost everyone's going home. Is the tavern still busy? But um. But yeah, there's a party going on outside in another tavern, so it's not that big. So, you guys ready for a discussion to see where you guys are going today? I'm like, what the fuck is that sound? <laughs> <laughs> Did it eat a frog? Did that? <laughs> I swear the lorikeet ate a frog though. Oh, you're getting birds too. Smaller fresh burn cedar on the fire like a man. Uh, make a man snooze. Oh, it's nice. If you're off to bed, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll put this on. I'll turn it up a little bit. Probably not too loud. I love the descriptions, though. Must be a very good DM. Me, on the other hand, sometimes very sucky at descriptions. So I apologize to my players and I apologize to my viewers. <laughs> yeah, people don't know how to use push to talk. It's very fascinating that people are not using how to use push to talk. Uh, we're going to do this. I got all the data. It's not working. What's going on here? <laughs> All you hear is the clacking of the analog sticks and occasional coughing. <laughs> True that. True that. Oh, wow, yeah, my, my 5B tools are not working. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, guys. What birds are you going to get, Cass? 
a jeans. That's like all the time, right? It's like all the time. Ah, uh, we need to go. Okay. It's always funny with kids getting yelled at by their mum when they're on um while they're playing games. It's just like, yep, cool. <laughs> yeah, everyone's still here. Hey, everyone's still here. So we're still waiting on, we're still waiting on Antikyra. Yay, Microsoft. I do have elevator music on on the tavern. Maybe I'll put more people in. Drinking time. Oh, all right, okay. True. I know that'd be like really bad. BSG BSG Wiz, thank you for the follow. We're so close. We're like one follow away from two hundred followers. This will this will be a momentous kind of occasion. And then OBM will unfollow again and then try to refollow and try to get his name up on the board and be like, OBM, what are you doing? Actually, da -da 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 -da. oh, I've got to set up a giveaway. We're going to give away a couple of subs this month. So we'll set that up. We will give away a sub um, to... I'm gonna do this on the sly. Look, just if you're in the channel, just fucking type enter, and I'm just gonna put you in a little thing. If you're in the channel, type enter. I'll put you in a little thing. Little, we'll just spin a spin a random thing and just give some give out a sub for the month. 
Like a subway, yeah. It'll cost about the same amount for a six inch. Um, won't cost you anything. It'll cost me something, but uh, yeah. You get a free sub. Don't, not everyone goes, not everyone go at once. Yeah, I'll deliver it myself. It's a free sub, mate. Will she be long, or shall we just go through a recap with everyone that's here already? Okay. Cool. Well, in that case, while we wait on Kara, let's kick off the session with just, yep, yeah, I'll say long bed, you entered. <laughs> let's kick off the session with everyone doing a recap. Um, of what they picked up from last sesh or where we're going and then kind of we'll go from there or do we want to go recap for this session or big one just a short one what's that you got a tab dallas you want to kick us off and tell everyone where we're up to currently in the campaign what happened to your session what happened to you last week or last fortnight Probably a moisturizer and just a cloth and like just a bit of it like tied off with a rag or something. Yeah. Very good, very good, very good. Ah, it's not. Sorry. You moron. Now we can hear everyone. Sorry, everyone's been talking. Oh, now. no, Dallas. No, Dallas, you need to say that all again. Oh, I was just talking about our characters and how last session we were getting tattoos. Um, now we're um, diligently observing tattoo aftercare care and doing what we need to do to to look after them, you know, um, applying oils and uh, moisturizing creams, uh, medieval versions of, I don't know, whatever glad wrap is back in those days. Um, I don't know. And yeah, like I said, um, not not getting drunk and rolling around in the dirt, because as I, I learned firsthand, that's, that's not a good way to look after your tattoos. Um, yeah. Slice of life kind of stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I can't really think. I don't know. We went to a caravan. Um, we, we got spoke drinks to, spoke to... named after us as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't even remember. Do I have a dream named after horses? Yes. Oh, the Happy Wanderer. That's right. Yes. What was yours, Cesar? The Dragon Tamer. The Dragon Tamer? Uh, something like were that. You, I can't were remember. Was the Dragon Tamer? Or the... It was Dragon... A demon... Demon something. Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer or some shit. It wasn't Demon Slayer. It was like... Actually, I have it. I have it. I, I wrote okay. it down. Oh, guys. Hey, look. I took notes. <laughs> so unlike you. I know, right? Insane. In the membrane. Uh, where did I put it? Here we go. Demon Slayer. Oh, okay. The burning sensation first off comes into an oaky, smoky taste and dissipates yes. into a floral note. Yep, I do remember what it tastes like. Oh. I just couldn't remember what it was called. No. Oh. Uh, Herbert, anything you want to pick up from the session? Or even previous session, because that was kind of more your session, where oh, you really? guys had got off. Nothing much happened for Herbert. Uh, previous session would have? Previous sessions already been recapped. Oh, okay, cool. 
Am I wrong? Yeah, no, you, you're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. I think there's there's a couple of people in here that haven't seen it, but they can go back and watch it. Actually, no, you can't go back and watch it. No, actually, just Fine. Anyway, right, anyway. I fixed it up. We're going to add it on YouTube, and that way then all my stuff should go to YouTube. All right, we'll work that out. So, let's pick off from here. We will, we are still waiting for the, the Kara of Antikara, Antikara of the Kara. Da 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 How long am I going to be Dallas? Sorry, yeah, I really don't know. Okay. Ten years later. A few moments later. Chirp, chirp. Cookie. Everyone grab a cookie. <laughs> we don't even Everyone grab some little food, grab a drink, to go you. to the toilet, have a quick little thing. Carol ah. will sort her stuff out. Here she is! She's here! <laughs> Sorry, I, I had to put a humping lorikeet away. <laughs> a humping we heard, lorikeet. We heard the, uh, the frog-like noises. <laughs> He's so in love with Dallas. I went oh. away for like four, I go away for four days and he hates me now. Wow. <laughs> and wow. he'll only go back if I give him cheese. So <laughs> I had to go get the fucking cheese, didn't I? He wants, he wants the top shelf cheese and all as well. Oh. That's right, Timon's been a bit of a dick since Pumbaa's gone. Oh, every time sad, I go, in, like, every time I go to like give him cuddles or something, he's like, "What the fuck are you doing? Why, why are you touching me?" Oh, he's still um, he's grieving. Uh, hmm. yeah, probably, but he still like looks at me like I'm a crazy woman. I mean, you are. Huh? Excuse yeah, fair enough. You? <laughs> well, this Laura Kate used to love me. Now he hates me, and the Corella. Oh. Is now attacking me, like literally running at me. I've got cuts all over my fingers because he latched onto me the other night. I had to pry him off. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm good at work, but I'm not good at home, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's kick off, Kara. We've already done recaps. Would you like to recap what you did last session or what you remember? Yes. Um, so. We met Torin in front of the magic shop, and Torin gave me a book. Actually, two books. Wait, no, hang on. Three books. No, wait. Two books. Two books. Three books. Two books. Two books. Two books. Two books. Two seven books. Oh yes, of course. Yes. So one book was titled Heart Frobs and Knights. Was I'm into that? And the other one was our Puddles Gems book called Venus's Tears or something. That's um, boring. It could have been called <laughs> Now You're Thinking with Portals. <laughs> that was funny. Um, if, if you, you want to come up, if like if you if I put me on if you put me on the spot and I can't come up with something and you got something really good, spill it out. I will literally run with it. I definitely didn't think of that though. So yeah, um, Michael, can use that. <laughs> uh, um, we, we, we can retcon on this if you want. <laughs> I'm happy with now. You think about it, portals. No, now you're thinking with portals. Oh, now you're thinking with portals. Right, sorry. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> get the first portal reference. Portal the game. Yeah. Yes, yes. Kicks that game was tricky as fuck. Oh, um, yeah, okay, sorry. I just got it then. Because I haven't played portal. I haven't played portal. I haven't played portal. I haven't played it. Yeah, I've never played it. Yeah, play portal. It's I've okay. It's really good. 
I never played it. It requires a lot of brain. The first one will take you maybe <laughs> an hour or two. All right, okay. I'm still stuck on Battle Lord. Once, once I finish Battle Lord, I'll be like, okay, cool. And then I'll start another session, which I already did. Michael Thanks. and I did the co op in Bottle 2. Um, it's a oh, lot sick. of killing each Cooperation. other. <laughs> Cooperation. 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 No, there's a lot yeah. of. Um, Moving portals just so that they fall into the, the water so that they die. That would be so much fun. I'd it be is. into that. Bring We've been watching... Board. We just started watching Arcane on... Is it Netflix? Yeah. yeah it's real good. It looks sick. I've never played League of Legends, but I'm like in love with Jinx and V. They are, Vi, they are awesome as fuck. Well. But um, now I understand League everyone who, does the, who does the cosplay. Dragon's Blood no way. is the way to go, please, everyone. Dragon's Blood. I've never watched that game. If it's a good, I'll have to watch it. It is good. You should watch it. Yeah, I'm only a couple episodes in, but I think Dallas has finished it. I'm, like, still, keen, I'm still keen on um, uh, House of Dragon, though. And, oh! Come oh, on! Yeah, I haven't seen that. Do not forget! Lord of the Rings starts. When? Get that that looks really cool. Tomorrow. Yes, oh, that's it. soon. Yes. Official release. On um, what? What's it on? Binge Prime. or something? Prime. Oh, they don't have any of this shit. I have it. I'll be doing a watch party, probably. What is, I'll probably do a watch what's party. House, House of Dragon will be on binge, I think. I don't yes, have that anymore. I used to binge. have used to have all of these before like last month when I completely vetoed like half of them. Wasn't it on Prime before? Didn't Prime have Um Game of Thrones? Who knows? Or, or am I thinking uh, no, binge did. No, oh, I thought it did ages ago. Oh man, no, it was just HBO. Sorry, apologies. We just watched it on what? HBO. I don't even know. I just torrented. Uh, yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> Can you still torrent stuff? You need to tell me how to do that. Hang on. You're just torrenting. We're not talking about illegal stuff. Let's move on. I was about to move say that we're on Twitch. That's probably <laughs> not a good idea. Okay. We're not doing illegal oh, bits and pieces. Anyway, you want to do that? You to your own to... personal time. Anyway, let's... TV movies. Let's... <laughs> Can you just message me, please? <laughs> so good. Uh, anyway, I'm in the middle of my there. story here. Hold Next. on. Next! What's going on, Next? Good to see you, Next. Oh Thanks for jumping in. Stop. Hey, talking. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, <laughs> you asked me stop, you asked stop me talking questions. about this. Go on, yes, sorry. no, I'm not talking about Torrance. I'm talking about my story. Anyway, um... I got some books, yes. and I got a tattoo with Cesar and Orsus, and I should now be level AC-17, if you can change that on my sheet. Oh, yes, I haven't fixed that. Sorry, I'll fix it. All this time. All this Lucky time, I and it. I didn't do it. <laughs> I need to do it on mine. Uh, is anyone anyone else's AC is incorrect? Correct? Uh, gonna... Yeah, Cesar's mine is. Never fixed. Well, it did get fixed? No, oh, it's not. It's still on 15. No. It should Why be what, 18 plus 4 three? plus 1. Yeah, 23 for Cesar. Orsus's is fine because his armor doesn't actually change. Except for when I'm a beastie. Yes, well, you just need to know 15 plus whatever its dex is. Well, 2 of max and plus 2. Oh, math? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I, I, think it, I think it makes maths? all of them better for you. Somehow, I figured out how to do this ages ago, and I can't argue with it. It's flat. Uh, what's your flat DC? 17? Plus. No. Update. Uh, it's not flat. It's, yeah. I'll fix it up, but it's 17, correct? And it says uh, yours is what? 23. 23? Mm-hmm. I going to say 18. That's it. Cool. Everyone else is correct. Lovely. 15 on Orsus, 19 on Herbitor. Plus your bonuses if you got a shield. Orcs can also be Zorinted, yes. Yes, let's not go all about that, but yes, they can. D&D to Orcs especially. Uh, especially when you pay all of them and then they don't work because you don't never use roll 20 anymore. You're like, what the fuck? Righto, so you guys are right smack bang here in the tavern after heading back from the where everyone where the big crowd is around the the kind of tavern in a nutshell the brewery that's there 
You guys get back to the tavern. I haven't much. Oh, what did I call it? Oh. I can't remember the name of it. It's called uh, Traveling Ales and Ciders. LDs. LDs. D, D's in... Uh, no, it's LDs. Traveling Brewery. Sorry? LDs Traveling Brewery. Cars can also be downloaded, yes. Ream can also be downloaded as well. Downloadmoreream.com. No, that looks fake. If you get if your computer gets low, download more RAM. Wait, isn't RAM a hardware thing? Yeah, but yeah. just download it. Just download it, it'll be fine. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, right. You guys find yourself back in the tavern. The tavern now seems to be kind of quiet. It's not as crowded as it normally has been. Um, the brewery has taken a little bit away from kind of the, the local traffic. People are kind of off for the new thing. There's only a few groups that are here, um, and it's mainly just kind of guards and that kind of stuff that really can't. A lot of them are older folks. They're probably like old timers and that kind of stuff. What's everyone doing? Are we just having a, a, a long rest here? We, we don't really need it, but I think we should sit down and talk about our plan. Before we adventure out, peeps. <laughs> so I'm gonna go sit in a corner that um, is away from the other patrons. Kind of signal the group that you should all um, join me. Also, this doesn't really get the the hint, but. Um... He still sort of follows without really understanding what's going on. <laughs> I will follow you with my books to the corner. I might be able to have a chance to read. Yeah. That's it. Well, you all gather at one of the tables. Um, one of the bar winches comes up and offers you... If there's anything you guys need for a round of drinks. Um, just an ale. Just an ale? I mean, I had a few at that other place, so. Yeah, it's up to you. It's up to you. Up to you. I know my constitution is good, but. <laughs> you only had, what, two drinks? No, I had more than that. Okay. At multiple at the table yep. and then was given another drink. How many did you have at the end? Four? Five? Yeah. Someone else was buying for us anyway. I'd say you're, you're still pretty good. Okay. Four or five. You, you still kind of feel it's lightweight. So you're a really large cat and you've kind of had your days of drinking and stuff at sea. So you're kind of used to, to kind of that kind of livelihood to a degree. Yeah. So I just have a nail. Um, mm. And I turn to the group. Um, uh, does anyone else want anything before they go on to mission? Sorry, you, to, you go into the, the bar. But the lady came over and asked if we wanted something. Oh, um, do you have any non-alcoholic wine? Think we do? You, you think so? She like she looks dumb for a second, and then kind of goes, "Uh, I could probably get it for you, sure." Oh, that'd be great. Can I have um just the house red, please? Of no the, worries. Non, of the non non alcoholic variety. Thank you. Anything else? Anyone else want anything else? Just the usual uh, water for you, Herb, at all? Mm-hmm. Hey, cool. Anth uh, cool? Okay. Anthakara wants anything? Or I feel like we're getting hung up on something that's not important. Wood. That's fine. That's fine. We'll just move um, on. Okay, so... guess our plan is... Can you go to the... Um, I can bring Zon? you to the world. I can bring you to the Lazon. Yes. Lazon. 
So I believe our plan is to go to... So I'm Hill. assuming with this, Servitor has basically pulled out the map. Yeah, we've got the map. Lay it on the table. Uh, so I guess we're going to Nerd first, right? And then from Nerd, we're going to travel... Um, I'm going to assume upstream uh, to the waterfall. And oh, sorry, that, deal... stream is, that stream is the actual streams icon, not stream. <laughs> Well, I said upstream. No, uh, upstream. but if you see this, do you see stream there? Up, upstream? Oh, you're, you're, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I get it. Upstream? Uh, yes, I can see your little icon. I just have a grey screen. All right. Oh, why are you back? Okay, let me no, um, I'm gonna bring map. everyone back. They're from Nerd. And then I'm going to bring everyone back because Heaven Tour wasn't pulled across for some reason. Yeah. Okay, so from Nerd. I assume that they weren't going to the waterfall. From the waterfall, we're going to deal with... Um, um, what's your character's name, Dallas? <laughs> oh, is, my brain just went, uh... Um, That's okay. And, uh, and we're going to deal with Orsus's bear dream thing. Um, once we deal with that, I don't know if everyone else would like to... Um, join me, but I would like to. Can we go to the world map, please? We can. As Herbator also pulls out the rest of the maps. Yep, just maps on maps on maps. <laughs> I mean, that's your thing, though, Herb. Yes. Um, I would then hopefully find some sort of way. Um, I don't know if hopefully we don't have to walk the whole fucking way to this little. Um, Little middle island placey place Kizian. as the Kizian Kiz. Empire. Um, because I believe that's where my brother and father are. And I believe that's our like, list of what we'd like to do so far. Is that correct? Or also Anthakaira. Yes. Okay, so I don't know what Anthakaira wants to do. Anthakaira, is your head in a book? Yeah, I'm just reading the books. Happy to follow. We're heading out with Cesar, aren't we? Or Orsus? Orsus first. We're going to do Orsus's dream first in Nerd. <laughs> It's a place, isn't it? Sorry. Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was a bit confused by that. Yeah, nerd, N-I-R-D. It's the place just before the waterfall that was in your dream. So, yeah. uh, shall we do then? Shall we go back to our... Um, do we... We just... Guild halls along the way. Yeah, go back Unless to the guild hall. Unless we go by boat. Well, no, it's 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 actually out of the way. Um, we could get a boat. Or a little... we could just follow the road. There is a road that leads to Nerd. I could a boat. Um... Are you good on boats? I am very good at boats. Well, I, I I'm sailor. not particularly good at horses. I was a sailor, so... Oh, that's cool. Oh, thanks. You could the only question is, is like, like, how much yeah. is a boat? Because I don't think we have... Surely we just rent one. We're not we renting, rent we're not buying. We could, oh, we could you see know. if there's anyone going, travelling to Nerd. It's actually, it's actually Nerd. 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 We, we could... Not Nerd, but close enough. This is reading it. It says Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> we could um we could see if there's anyone that's traveling that way um you know with supplies and shit. If they could pay us to look after them, like we could be protection on their ship. <laughs> I don't think they'll pay us, but they could give us free fare. Well, how about we ask for work rather I mean, than meta -gaming. Fare. <laughs> this is, this is we meta gaming. We are now. Um, oh, my background is sailor, and it's one of the, the like. 
beaches as a sailor is I yeah. can um, get passage. Ship's passage. Here we go. When you need to, you can secure free passage on a sailing ship for yourself and your adventuring companions. Nice. You might sail a, ser- a ship you served on or another ship you have good relations with. Um, because you're calling in a favor, you can't be certain of a schedule or a route that they will meet you, meet your every need. DM will determine how long it takes to get where you need to go. In return of your free passage, you and your companions are expected to ex- to assist the crew during the voyage. All we so, need to do is really just perfect. see if there's any boats going that way. Exactly. We just just say let's let's go to the river port. You can go to a river port. Yeah, definitely you can. Yeah. Let's um, do that. Let's go to the river port and. Um, it's probably mid afternoon now. Do you want to do that now, or do you want to probably do that in the morning? You would know. We could sorry, get wrong place. A tavern near the river port. This this I mean, tavern, we are in tavern near the river port. is probably one of the closest. I think the port for the river is well. The main port is here. It's all um, going to be the one port. It's just that's just a canal essentially. Yeah. Why don't we we go there? See if there's anyone leaving like. Soon, yeah. They could be tomorrow morning, and then we or just they come could back be tonight, and we miss it. it. Could be tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, it could be tonight. Let's just let's just go and see if there's someone. Yeah. You guys want to leave and head off there now? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. No one has anything else they want to discuss beforehand. That's just sitting around the party at the car. What are you doing? It's reading. I'm aware. I'm just reading. I want to read this book first and learn a bit about it, unless you've got something to tell me about this book. What book are you reading? Uh, the portal one. Portal gem. So, as you flick through some of the pages, it will basically go into detail about some of the power of the gem and the history of the gems. The gems themselves were created by um, a group of mages. That was the old um, Magracracy of Sorston, well before its time of the new the new mages. During offensive war, the portal gems were separated, or lost, or stolen or taken from um, certain individuals. People were caught out when they portaled, like, armies or individual, like, um, assassins and and little sex, little small groups to basically catch out um, certain bits and pieces, not overwhelm them and catch it. That was one or two of them. Another two of them were kind of traded off um, for large sums of gold or what have you, and they eventually kind of found their way to certain areas. Um, The purpose of this is still unclear as the author themselves uh, was High Elven, but wasn't, you can kind of get the sense that the person writing this has no association with the Magracracy. So they're like an outsider looking in. They talk about it like first-hand knowledge, though. So they do have some knowledge of this kind of gem um, and its power. Its power is able to kind of do extra-dimensional travel um, or planet travel and kind of reach far spaces that not many people can. Whilst, Whilst the gems do take a fair bit of energy and power to utilize um a lot of mages have sought them out previously uh wars were started for some of them um and now Sorsten's take on it is more a little bit eased relaxed but you can tell that like reluctantly um Sorsen does eventually want these gems back and they are trying to collect them for whatever reasons. So 
the whereabouts of them is unclear, although you do gather the the knowledge of them. So far, you have heard of... Uh, let me, give me two seconds. Just going back to my messages to you. I've told you this off stream. stream. Yeah, I've got it here. I can say it to the group if you want. So... You've already got some bits and pieces, but you managed to kind of find a short little kind of, um, you get a note basically short capping the location of these gems. So as so as you're aware, three of them from Aiden are outside of his grasp. Um, one is likely still within the sort uh, the Magricrasty of Sorston. One has been heard of in Orkish lands. One is being held under lock and key in Port Frantelli. And one is often in some distant land lost at sea. The other one is possessed by Aiden. And there is one more that is basically um uh the some birdman that you've heard of has a sixth one. Goddamn birdman. Yeah. Goddamn birdman. I looked up Birdman before and nothing came up. So I wanted to kinda of know where this original thought or this original progress went towards a birdman. Who's telling me this? You found it in a book in our person in our guild library. I think. I did find it somewhere. I can't remember where, though. Pretty Maybe it was in the library. In, in, the, hey, in the library in your guild hall. Questioning the, no, I was... the bird man. Is he real? Did I imagine it? Well, that's what I was trying to look for. And I couldn't find any info on him. That's all the info that there is a bird man. Phoenix person. He doesn't exist, Maybe. Uh, is there yeah. any other knowledge that you kind of look for, particularly like if you're looking for something more exact, like a set of words or something? I, yeah, I have a spell that I can do that. Okay. You, yeah, you, you definitely can do that. I did. I remember going through a lot of books in that library looking up Birdman and didn't find anything. No, you were looking up vampire stuff. You haven't had the Birdman knowledge since we've been to that library. I've got it somewhere. I don't know. I remember this, uh, asking about Birdman not that long ago, really. I have to look back in my notes. But this is I enough think, for I now. Think, oh. I, think, I think what happened was you asked about Birdman recently in the same place where you'd already found all the information about the Birdman. There wasn't anything more to be gained. It's from our library. If we happen to go by a different library, that would might be different. The information you collected on the Birdman was information that was basically passed down from the previous owners of the guild hall. Basically, it was a, a note or something that basically fell out of one of the books that was associated with portals and some reference to the portal gems that you managed to find in the library that was in your guild hall. It was simply just that there was a Birdman, I believe. Yeah, it was like a small little note there was a Birdman and he was said to contain one of the other gems. Where does he store it? Who knows? Ask the Birdman when you find him. It. He has the gem, contains it. Who knows? Throws it in his butt. Maybe. Same Maybe. spice. That's why you can just teleport a will. <laughs> Anyone that can teleport a will has a has a port has a gem in their bum. <laughs> right. Absolutely, Jason. Right? Right. Weird. Strange. So far out there. So, is there any particular word, Anthakara, that you're searching for in this book? 
or, or phrase? Mm, I have to think about it. Okay. While you, you sit there and think about it, Cesar basically stands up and she's like looking at you and calling your name, snapping you back to reality. She might need to slap a little bit harder. No one's sorry, saying anything yes. to me. Yes, sorry. <laughs> um, um, just slap me. That no, always works. I'll, I'll, I'll just pull the book out of your hands. Don't slap her. Don't take a book out of a girl's hands. Uh, no, no. I put my hand on the book and like push it down a little so that it's like you can see me like, hello. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm I'm paying attention now. I'm paying attention. I look slowly uh, up yes. at Cesar. Like we are going to the port. Just... Yes, I thought we may be following Orsus's dream. I will look at these books later. Let's go to the port. We need a plural for Orsus. Orsus. Or size. Port. Right. Did you guys venture off? Actually, I'll move you guys. You guys venture off. Um, I'm going to say you basically avoid the the group that's across the way um, around the workshop um, and head over the bridge. Most of you the would workshop. do that. Sorry, the workshop, the the mall, the big area that's basically oh. there where the smithy and everything is. Um, the arrows and pieces where the where the LD's kind of wagon is set up and there's market. a freaking crowd, the market market, sorry. Use a word. You guys are avoiding that and kind of going across the bridge to the, the port, I assume. I mean that's the way to the port. You guys do that because the crowd just seems too busy and you guys are in a hurry. So you guys all motion over the bridge and then carry on and basically eventually make your way to the port. Um, yes, we do this. There's Let's a... go to the port. Yeah. Can I... Oh. I was going to say, can I like, like perceptively just look at ships or people around the ships to see if there's anyone that I know? So what are you looking for? Like a ship or a person that seems familiar? <laughs> I roll perception? Yeah, roll me a perception check, please. Can't. Oh, no, I can't. Never mind. 13. 13. That was a horrible roll. May I guide her? That's bad. Yeah. Oh, yes. Four. No decisions been made yet. Four, oh, there 17. you go. That's better. <laughs> Not bad for a three. You went across the bridge. There's a little bit of traffic, not that much. Um, you make your way across the the bridge to the kind of the main section of the port or one of the main sections where the large ships are pretty much coming in, cargo's coming off, and you can see some of it's being loaded onto smaller ships and either being sent down. Um, you have noticed previously that, um, and you kind of paid it no heed originally, but now it's kind of like becoming more prevalent. You need to get down, down the, the riverway. And you've seen boats kind of traveling down back and forward as you kind of spent time around the area um, that have traveled back and forth down that kind of that canal way. Um, and then outwards, you have seen off in the distance kind of small boats, not massive, large ships, but like small boats like that have what that have been sailing across river barges, probably. Yeah, more. pretty much more river barges. Um, nothing massive. 
Okay. Um, you do see areas where people are kind of unloading stuff. There's massive warehouses that are here. Um, you do see like a, a small section, like a, a small tower near the wharf where kind of you see one or two people kind of looking over and out looking onto the kind of the wharf itself. Yep. Um, that's very high up. You see three or four ships kind of scattered about, large ships. Uh, I will say this is where I get it. Um, you see four ships, large ships. Yep. You may, you maybe would know. You wouldn't know anyone particularly on a, on a, on a ingoing barge into Neard or the other, uh, villages along the waterway. Um, you would know large ships. You dealt with large ships. You dealt with large docks. The small dock that's here specifically, you wouldn't know anyone about that. But I'll assume need... that... Huh? I was going to say we need small, that's all. Yeah. So where where is your thought on trying to get on one of those small barges? How would you accomplish this? Um, maybe... Well, it's, you said there's four sh big ships that look familiar to me. So maybe I could, like, talk to one of the captains or one of the first mates on those crew you know those sh one of the ships to like vouch for me um the smaller ship mm -hmm. um and just like you know she's a good worker she'll be great yeah you crew when she you know to need um so maybe that might work yeah cool Let's try that. I'll say you see four ships, right? As I've said, the four ship names are the High Flyer, the Campion, yeah. with a C, C A M P I O N, Morson, Morson, mm -hmm. and the Sunfish. And the Sunfish. Um, oh, I don't know why, but the sunfish sounds so good. Um, let's. Which one? Like, this, I, you know, you said that I, I they look familiar. Which one do I have more of a good relationship with? Romeo me a 1d4. Actually, no, I'll do 1d4. If I find a 1d4. One. So let's go to the sunfish. Okay, let's go to the sunfish. Let's do that. I'm gonna walk towards the sunfish, not say anything to anyone else, just just walk towards it. What's everyone else doing? Following our captain. Captain. Orses yeah, I'm interested. Orses is just there, like hands on hip, admiring the, the ships. No, we no, have to pull him ball. along. That's a nice ship. How far do you guys get before horses? You guys pull horses up and go. Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> Two feet. We know he's out, so we have to pull him along. <laughs> right. Yeah, this isn't the he's first like, time. Stuck to your side, like okay, like, cool. Okay. Let's, cool. Let's Maybe we go. need one of those. Um, <laughs> we need one of those leashes. That you pull children. <laughs> You've got one of those. It's called Mage Hand. <laughs> Well, that that could actually. slap him around a little bit, actually. It won't well, pull it can't slap him around, but it could around. steer him. It could steer him. Slightly guide his head. Yeah. In. Ten pounds oh. of pressure. That's a hefty amount of pe pressure, though. And the guy, how, how do you want to? How do you want to? If you've been tasked to kind of then guide Herbitor, how are you doing it? Awesome. Uh, sorry, not Herbitor. Awesome. Sorry, apologies. <laughs> um. Well, I know we're all actually listening to Cesar, and then we know when Cesar's about to lead on. 
and Orsus is already in a very far away land, and I can already tell. So I guess I just kind of conjure up my mage hand, just with a swift, swift little movement on my wrist, and just put it. First, I'll go past Orsus's face to see if there's any any sign of life. It's, it's if it doesn't, so I don't think it, it it does, just, it's incorporeal, correct? We won't see. Uh, it. No, no, no. That's it. Is it is it's it's whiskey. See it. Yeah. yeah so there's specifically. Sense. Arcane tricksters can make it invisible, and telekinetic feet can make it invisible. Mm. Everyone else is no, not invisible. Yeah, I assume it wasn't invisible. They just kind of get his attention past. All right, that doesn't work. It can turn around and then kind of slightly grab his head and turn it the right way, or at least po like poke him on the shoulder or something. Like just the poke fuck. His eyes out. <laughs> Street right in the middle. So let's just start with a gentle tap on the shoulder. And he'll hopefully break out of whatever fucking story he's playing in his head. For some reason, then, my, what's in my head is um, Donkey, where he's like, that's a nice boulder, but it also saying, that's a nice boat. But he's kind of half drooling too. And the mage hand is just there to kind of tap him on the shoulder, gaze attention, and it pointing towards the way that we're off, we're walking. So, also, as you're standing with your hands on your shoulders, and you're just looking at. And you see this kind of ghosty looking spectral hand just wave past your face. And then you feel this kind of pressure like tapping you on the shoulder, on the right hand shoulder. What are you doing? Also, this isn't dumb. It's just. He's a space cadet, not disabled. Let's make that clear. <laughs> space cadet. So no, that's what are you doing? No are you response. Following a are you here? Oh, oh, sorry. No, I wasn't listening. <laughs> what? What? What's happening? Perfect to form right now. What? Exactly. Right. You there? You focus. Yeah, yeah I'm You're here. There? Sorry. Cool. I'm here. I'm cool. present. I'm present. I'm in the moment. Your hands on hips. Even... Focus on the ships. And this oh yeah, they're goes, really beautiful. Oh, this, this one. Like hand comes across your face inches from it and then you feel this tapping on your right hand shoulder then what are you doing i raise my hand to give it good a night, high five long ben. good night long ben <laughs> hope you get better soon yeah that tracks <laughs> can i slap him with my mage hand no first <laughs> i want to i want to um go with it and high five him and then pfft, Slap. Really gently. Ten pounds gently. Ten pounds gently. <laughs> That's not much. You, you, you get a high five from the spectral hand, and then you get slapped in the head. And then you're, like, shaking your head a little bit. You come to, and you're, like, looking at Anthakara. And you can see her beckoning you to move along. You following the rest of the group? Oh, hey, Antho. What are we doing? We're heading off with Cesar. Please follow along. Okay. We will see the nice, pretty ships later on. Okay. And also follows along, but he's still kind of like just head up in the in the clouds and admiring the ships as he goes past. They're so big. <laughs> okay, so I head to the boat. Mm hmm. You basically get to the boat, the the docks, like, it's, it, the boat's docked, it's tied up, um, you can get access to the ship's dock. You do notice there's lots of people kind of around. Um, you see a couple of, like, you see tons of, like, workers like carrying on. There's a few guards that are kind of hanging around. There's a couple I of people. I will walk up to a worker. Yep. There's a couple of people that, let me just explain, or you'll just forget the information, or you'll just miss the information. What would you like? Miss the information? Go straight to the worker? <laughs> no, keep going. Okay. So there's tons of workers working around, carting. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm just I'm trying to give <laughs> hints and stuff. And you're just like, nah, I'll go over. 
So there's tons of workers. There's a few nobles that you kind of notice. There's a couple of people that kind of just like, it's still afternoon, but people have their hoods up and just walking past. Um, and you see a few guards kind of motioning about. There's one little patrol that's just working their way through and they're just checking people that are coming in and off the boats as well. Hey, I will work walk up to a worker. Mm -hmm. Who's your captain? The captain of the Sunfish? Yes. You know this, so... You know no, who the I, captain of the Sunfish is? Well, you said that the boat looks familiar, so I, I, I was just assuming that, you know, I'm double-checking that it's the same captain. Do you, who is do you remember the captain's name to be? I mean, it's the gnome, it's the gnome ship, isn't it? Yeah, but I didn't... I didn't this is before, so... Also, it was literally two years ago. So there, are, there are more ships that would have been docked at the known, at the Port Fratelli. Although, even though you were docked at Port Fratelli... Port Fratelli are you asking me to make a name up, or are you... I'm genuinely... wondering if you have a name for the captain. Oh, I can make the name? That's, that's, that's cool. That's a lot of pressure. Don't fuck it up. Um... Oh, you, you know what? About... No. Um... Captain Fancy Pants. <sighs> Captain, Fe Captain Fancy Pants. Uh, Ooh, I like that name. Um... Okay. But is it, does it have to be... It can be silly? Would you like him to be? Names. Huh? What would you like him to be? You know uh, this shit better than I do. Barnacle Bing. Barnacle Bing. An old Barnacle Bing. Bing! Oh, I think I've heard legends of the old Barnacle Bing. Ruth can I do a history killer. can I do a history check? <laughs> Uh, were they male or female? Male. Female. Male. Male. Donald. It's a very male name. So, you remember... ...that Barnacle Ping... ...his actual name was Tor. So it's, but it's Barnacle Bing. He took, he took to the name Barnacle Bing because of his Barnet Burling game uh, last name, and everyone just called him Barnacle Bing for short. What an interesting so, life with man leads. Tor Barnacle Bing. Tor. Berlin Game, sorry. Also known as Barling, Barnacle Bean. Okay, so you I'm going to say to the, the worker then, um, is that is that good old Barnacle still the captain of this ship? Hi. Oh. What's it to you? Who are you? Oh, I used to work under Barnacle. You used to work aboard the ship? Yeah, when I was a little lass, little little one. How long ago? How long is that? Uh, I was fourteen at the time, so eight years ago. That's not that long ago. Not that old. <laughs> Cesar, are you only seventeen? Whitley. <laughs> Whitley. Working on this ship for uh, probably ten years or so. You remember Whitley. some cat person? I I yell out Whitley loud. Did you work aboard the ship? 
I would have. Um, I move from ship to ship. That's part of my background. I she got around. That's also yeah. part of her background. <laughs> <laughs> because Barbie. I'm a sailor. Who is that? Sailor. Jesus. Well, you said that. Where's yeah, no, the I clip? haven't said that. <laughs> Where's the clip? Where's the clip that shit? Oh my god. Where's clip? There it is right there. Clip that. Um. You know, um, my father worked at Bond. Um, a few ships before he went into the military. Um, he went into the military. Um, so, I, like, did your father when I was... run the ship, or he was just on, yeah, working yeah, on the yeah. ships? No, he he was the captain of a military ship. Um, but before that, he was just like a sailor, basically. So... Like he was he was a hired. Um, right. Okay. Cool. I hired get a gun bit. for for ships. Um, but then, guard. like, yeah, he was a hide guard, and then he just joined the uh, military and was given his own ship. Okay. Eventually worked his way up to his own ship. Got from there. Basically. Cool. Yeah, so I'd say he basically dragged you in, and you moved from ship to ship with him. Ah! What's your name again? You're Whitley! The, you're the daughter, aren't you? Yes, I am the daughter. Uh, how's your old man doing? It's been ages since I've seen you. You were about this big last time. You've grown. Have You've grown. grown. Uh, story with Dad. Don't want to get into it. Um, is is Barnacle the ship? Is Barnacle the ship? Barnacle on the ship. No, I think he's in. He's somewhere else. He's off on his own thing with his two eye. He's second, basically doing something, working stock, what have you, doing all the boring shit. Just while we're, with his two eye say. Well, he's doing the yeah, pretty much. He's <laughs> doing all the fun shit while we do all the freaking hard work. So, uh, classic barnacle. I Nothing remember, new. I remember you always complaining about it when I was little. I mean, we haven't stopped. But hey, I'm still here. Still getting paid. Uh nah. Can I ask when when um so this is a big ship, isn't it? It is a big ship. Um when do you think Barnacle will be back? Um Hmm. No no. Probably tomorrow, next day. No one when knows. Do you, when do you leave port? We'll be out of here in probably a week or so. For fuck's sake. No. Um, no, no, I know, but it's like... It'd be we just got to find him. I don't know. Um, what do you need you know what for? We, oh, look. A bit of a, a thing that I need to do, and I need... Basically, I need a reference... I can get like passage on one of the smaller ships to need. Um, let's be honest, ships, you know, the quickest way to travel the seas, rivers in this case. You know. Oh, you want passage aboard a ship? Uh, yeah, I mean, you knew that when I was little, I was a hard little work. I'm still that. Very you were hard a runt. Worker. That's what you were. Excuse you. <laughs> <laughs> he slaps you on the shoulder. How tall is he? Because like he's I'm... like at your like where you are. He's like at your chest. Like he's literally <laughs> looking up at you. So he kind of slapped you probably more in the elbow. He tries to slap you on the shoulder. He probably slaps you on the elbow. Inks off the plate armor. But it's like it's like it's like a very very angle, high up angled arm. Yeah, okay. Um. And no, I need I need passage. You, you know and. Look, you just unless... need someone to vouch for you. Is that it? Yeah, you know. Fuck, I, I mean, can do that. You sure, Wheatley? I I'll, I'll uh, buy you a good ale tonight. An ale? You're going to buy me uh, an ale? I'll buy you a hearty ale. Just the one? Buy you a cup of hearty just ale. Just the one? Just two? A couple? Hey, look. Wheatley, you... 
You remember, I will drink you, you remember the Barnacle. <laughs> you remember Barnacle. Yeah, and who do you like? Who do you think you learned your drinking from, young lass? Uh, you remember that first night when you were in the ship? I'm pretty before. sure I remember. And you vomited over the fucking heel. I mean, I was 15 at the time. Yeah. Not much. You were scrawny. You packed on a bit of weight, a bit of muscle, I see. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, but back then you could not hold your liquor. Back then, Whitley beat you every round. <laughs> I don't like this guy anymore. He's fucking weird. <laughs> He's not, not, Oh, uh, how about you, you vouch for me and I will pay until you can't stand Hey, you me. shout us the boys just a keg. You slip it on somehow. We'll get that sorted. I'll get you on one of the boats. That's right, no she, has to, she has to wear a keg? Oh, I have to bring a keg on, but because he's working, we have to keg. Get it. Hey, you somehow um, managed to get that sorted? I'll get you on one of the boats. Easy. Easy I'm pretty sure the boats hang out first thing in the morning. Pretty early too, so you're looking at about like before sun sun sunrise. It's easy done. You give me flowers and I will be back here with your keg. I'm drums. Alright. You um, just drop it you just meet us here at the at the at the river docks. First thing in the morning. We'll be fine. I'll meet you there. You bring the keg then. And I go to shake his hand. You got to shake his hand? Is there any like mad little handshake that you guys had? Or? I mean, sailors do the, you know, the where they grasp up the, the it's, forearm. It's the pro- no, no, it's not. Yeah, this one, they go the forearm kind of thing. Yeah, where you they... don't grab the hand, you grab the forearm and then kind of pull Yeah, in. yeah, yeah, yeah. Beastmaster yeah, has, handshake. Yeah, Beastmaster handshake. <laughs> yeah. I don't even remember what that's from. Oh, I can't. Oh. What a sailor would do. They don't yeah, shake no. hands. You pull it in, and then he kind of like, like as he kind of leaves, he gives you a nice little solid tap on the shoulder, um, and kind of go. Well, oh, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Six. See you tomorrow morning. Be there six before o'clock. six. Will do. Done. All right, I get off the boat. Go to Herbator. Get a bite keg of beer. Okay. And we got passage. Cool. Alright. Let's go back to the tavern. You guys head back to the tavern? You make your way there. It's kind of getting late. Um, as you guys are coming back from the, the port, you guys get stopped by the guards. Excuse me. Ah. Can you identify the four of you, please? Babies of the North. Ahoy. Cool. cool. And who are you? Hi, I'm Orsus. And I stand up, put out my hand. All right. Do you guys have any insignia or clearance documents? He does. I've got this winning smile. And he gives a big smile. Why do we need any clearance to walk around a city that belongs to everyone? City does not belong to everyone. It's good, miss. Clearly, it's you haven't met her before. We do not have any official documents on us, but. Uh, shit. I, I've got yeah, my yeah, Boris insignia. Yeah, you've got, you've got, you've got yours. You absolutely have yours. Yeah, but like, so, why does it matter? It's a public place. Why do we have because to? Because there's there's maintenance on at the moment. Uh, Aaron Pare Pare is our is our liaison to the king. You met the king before. Yes. Uh, roll me a persuasion check, Herbert. It's a funny thought. This I man hasn't so. met the king. We've met the king. I don't think I can guide myself. That would be casting a spell right in front of the man's face. Uh, persuasion. Yeah, just roll, sorry, persuasion. I touch. You just touch yourself. No, 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 it's it's still a spell. It's yes, yeah, he still has it. 
Still has a, a verbal. Commitment. Just, just, just for reference, give me half yeah. a second. Guidance is yes, you touch a willing creature, but it has a vocal and semantic component. The semantic is touching, but I, I still do you, chant. You can touch words. yourself without what's the name, but if you're casting, if you're physically saying a spell, then he would know. Yeah, there's magic words involved. So. I mean, he did a seventeen, so that's that's yeah, good. seventeen. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not proficient yet. Whoa. Oh. I mean, I'm definitely not proficient. My apologies. You're working with Aaron. Has Aaron provided you any identification? No, she hasn't. Um, in, actually, in saying that, do, do we have our title deed to the Guild Hall? Or is that at the Guild Hall? Oh, we do have that. That's in the Bag of Holding. I'd say you would have that. Yeah, the bag I'd of holding. provide that as a document. You pull that out and you kind of produce that document and then kind of go, yep, cool, no worries. And then he recognizes, cool, signed by the king, blah, 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 etc., etc. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sir. Um, sorry. Um, apologies. We're just doing our job to check everyone coming off the boats. So, no, happy. No need to apologize. You're okay. You're doing, really, you're doing a wonderful job. Thank you. Your diligence you? is appreciated, officer. Have you I found... Will... I take it you guys haven't managed to find the fugitives? There's one or two, but we are checking dilig diligently. Um, we haven't come across anything yet. Um, Fair enough. Um, but still kind of... Uh, There's no luck in the search. There's one or two that have been captured, but there's still some some large that haven't been found. If you do see any, um, there is two. Here's a, a small portrait of what they may look like. And what do they look like? So you would see now. Um, I'm just going to log on with it for a second. Give me two seconds. Just need to refund that. Um, so, you would now see that there are two people at large. Right. One is a green dragon ball. Mm -hmm. the, the resemblance to Torin is pretty close. Which is real interesting considering she's met the king. Correct. Um, and the other one is a human, um, very kind of, uh, there's not a lot of color on these kind of thing, but you just kind of see an outline of a, a dragonborn kind of thing. So it's, it's custom drawn, looks going to be a little bit dodgy. There's not a lot of markings you can kind of tell from just like a, a wanted poster. Um, so... You get a lot of resemblance to Torin, but you do get the feeling that you're unsure if it is Torin or not. The other person looks like a, a slightly darker skinned um, male figure um, that has like a kind of what they look to be like a scar across just underneath the eye um, and then like a, a large beard and kind of long kind of uh, brown hair. Right. Well, uh, keep up the good work, fellas. I, for some reason, sorry, Green Devil, that didn't come through because my sound alerts didn't work. Um, I right, will need going. to fix let's that to and send you back points. So I apologize. Um, I'm going to put you in a chat because is the tavern I'm closer going to or is the um that in the the um. The I need to get a. Yeah, I mean, you can get a keg from our new friends. True. Is that new friends? Who? The. Oh, L the. LD. Yeah. There's literally an alcohol convention in town. Yeah, we could go there. And go to the inn. Price, because it's from a convention, but still. Might give it to us a little cheaper. Yeah. 
That means Noise special bomb. elements for an important mission. Yeah. Ah, nice play. Them, NPCs uh, can help. Maybe give them signatures. Yeah. No, that's I'm not, I'm not giving away my signature. Someone else is going to sign your documents for you. Exactly. Forge your bits and pieces. Um, your bits <laughs> and pieces. So we can like be like, oh, get someone to come and draw us. Stand yeah. there with them. It's like your signatures, like your card details now. <laughs> The signature was like your card details back in the day. Oh yeah, I signed for this. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah. I mean, it is. There is literally a paper currency system in this yeah, fucking exactly. city. Got to protect our identities. Um, okay, we'll we'll go to. Is that closer? What's that? The tavern? Yeah, it's just across that bridge. It's right in the middle. Yeah. Smack bang. Yeah. In the middle, right there. Right. We go there. You head off there. Cool. You make your way through, and you basically get to the entrance. And you see uh, which one was which one was which again? I think the dwarf was at the door. The dwarf is at the door, but I can't remember what his name was. His name was, was it L or D. He was D. L was L Elgarn. Which one was Elgarn? Why have I lost all of this now? She was the one no, that I was behind. Elgarn. Elgarn is the male dwarf. So L is yeah, the, the female. Delilah, Delilah is. The female. She was behind the the bar. Yep. Yeah. Delilah Hopwood and then Elgarn's slate hide. So you basically get to the front. You literally kind of it's packed, but you kind of walk in from another entrance, like from where people are walking out, and you guys see kind of Elgarn like him and some two kind of brutes, like security guys, just kind of holding people up. And he's like, "Hey, you like? Yep, cool." Let three of them in. Come in, gents. Enjoy your stay. Make sure you drink some of the new brews that are out there. Uh, it'll knock your socks off for that demon slayer. He's talking to randos right now, right? That's who. He's talking to randos, yeah. Cool. Uh, you should see? we walk up to him? Yeah, don't see why not. Go on in, gents. Go on in. Uh, you'll enjoy it. Make sure you have some of that storm brew. It's going to be a nice brew. Enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Uh, right. What's going on? Look who it is. How you doing? Long time no see. Oh, hasn't it been a few hours? What are you doing? Uh, we have a... Uh, we have uh bit of a mission to to go on we seek your help actually <laughs> see this short stocky kind of dwarf like kind of run up past the kind of crowd um and literally gets up to about your waist grabs your yep. hand with such force pulls you down to his level and it's like, do you do you let it do you let it happen, or are you kind of like? What is he grabbing? Sorry. He's just grabbing your hand because it's like. Yeah, that's fine. He grabs your hand and pulls you down, and you're kind of like, eye to eye. What did you say? What did you say to me? I said wow. we need your help. You need my help. You need my help. What do you need? Tell me. Anything. Eat a keg. Good beer. Payment for us to get on passage for our next uh, mission. We're going to save the world, potentially. This is a world saving quest? Or at least the bear. Who knows what's going to happen, but I know that we're going to be doing some sort of really badass shit. But, but didn't I give you beer? The small little kegs you got? We will pay for this beer. We just, just knew that you had some good hearty beer. World saving beer. Wait. Also, it's not for us. This is not for you. This oh, is for someone, for someone else. It's someone else. Who is it for? To save the world. Some, uh, it's some... Friends sailors of mine. 
<laughs> gonna basically vouch for me. It will get your name out there because they're gonna travel around the world. Fuck, I know what to do. What do we want? Beer. Just one keg of good beer. This is that how we a, do that it. It was a call and response. This is how we do it. Beer. And he pulls you in close. Beer. <laughs> it's like, what do we want? This is how we do it. We get this brew. And we put it in your sailor friends. And we tell them to spread the word. And they take your brews. And they spread the words to all the ports near and far. And we'll get big. Exactly. You will make mint, baby. Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> and he, you see his like little short stocky legs just like sprint as hard as he can into the back. <laughs> this is a little dwarf. <laughs> This is the best salesperson ever. If he gets this excited about every sale, I mean, everyone's going to want to come here. Um, he basically gets in the back and, like, you kind of follow him in through the entrance. And the entrance is massive as again. Like, as you come into the top kind of third layer and you just see the massive brewery. And you see this dwarf, like, running down the stairs and he almost knocks, like, um, uh, he almost knocks like one person like off the stairs a little bit kind of thing <laughs> as he like passes through and then like he gets as he turns to kind of say sorry to that person um he's like a bit of a rush and you see him just barrel through someone else and knock them over you guys so witness funny. this <laughs> as you guys are standing just at the entrance um, the security guards kind of like, yeah, kind of, you guys can go through and you guys just kind of come to the top of the stairs and you see, um, Elgar and literally kind of just knock over some big brawny kind of, uh, Goliath guy. Um, and you see the Goliath kind of fall face first and Elgar is like just falling and lands directly in the back of his, his backside. And the whole tavern just seems to kind of halt. Halt tavern? Yeah. The wolf just ran into a very big man. Oh! Okay. I mean, does anything happen? Yeah, cool. Is there anything you guys are doing? I'm gonna stand behind the dwarf, like I'm gonna back him up. I don't. I don't. It's is the is the Goliath doing anything threatening in response to this? At the moment, he's still face first. But you yeah, see, I mean, I'll just help help the guy up. Cool. You guys make your way down to the bottom of the stairs. As you guys are going to get him down, he's like, "Oi, what's going on? What the fuck you do that for?" And he's like, "Hey, she's all good. Hey." Delilah, free round on me. Give me the best stuff. He's like, oh, oh, thanks. Right, <laughs> and you pick him. You end up kind of getting there as kind of Elgar's already back up to his feet and running off, and you kind of help the old mate up. Um, he's like, oh, well, thank you. I uh, appreciate that. He seems oh. a little excited. Yes. Well, he makes some good brews, so um, this one's pretty nice. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. That what's happens. what's your name? <laughs> Herpetor. <gasps> Herpetor. Oh, Isn't this yours? Is it, did yes. you make this hairy cleric? I really don't think that was the name that I said, but sure, yes. What name did you say? That's I what didn't I've got say written it. down. <laughs> and then I guess that's what Cass said. I, um, you can retcon the name if you like. I have no input on this. I don't cool. know. Cool. 
Harry what is Claire, called it sounds funny. Harry Claire? I like it. it. Sounds funny. I like it. I've got no issue with it. <laughs> Sir, it's an honor to meet you. My name's Gregory. If you ever need any aid of a good sword, you just give me the word. I'll come to your aid and help you out. What does this guy look like? Like, I realize he's a Goliath, but... Paul, um... What kind of skin would a Goliath have? Grays, grays, typically. Yeah, he'd be very kind of grey kind of skin. Tall. He'd have, obviously, no hair. Um, he's got slum eyebrows, and you, there's, like, like, th like three cuts in one of them. Um, like, they're shaved. No facial hair whatsoever. He's got... One or two, like he's got a scar across his, his lip coming down from the bottom, uh, from the top lip across the bottom one, um, just off to the right hand side. Um, but very muscular, very kind of built. Right. Does he look competent? Uh, roll inside check. Mate, roll an insight. Already did. Already got it. For me. Do I, you want to roll an insight as well? Yeah, I'm listening to the the, the, the conversation and watching his reactions. You roll your separate insight then, please. I will. 16. Cool. Um, Herbitor, you seem to be kind of taken back a little bit um, just by the kind of randomness of the encounter. So, okay, and you kind of just eye him off for a little bit. But says that you kind of look him up and down a little bit as Herbitor's engaged with him, and he does seem like he is a pretty strong, well-built uh, kind of character. He may, he may be beneficial in a fight, depending on. Okay. We'll keep that in mind, Gregory. No worries. Anytime, sir. Gregory. Goliath. Goliath Greg. Greg the Goliath. EG. You hear this big, as you're kind of having this conversation, you hear this loud thud and another loud thud. And you see kind of um, two large barrels just get stood. Oh, it's like slapped down directly on top of the bar. <laughs> there for us. You see the um, you see the door open. Like you, 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 sorry, you hear the door open. You don't really see because there's people in the front, and then you see kind of these two barrels just being grabbed down and basically then hoiked on top of shoulders. And you see there's then your short, stocky dwarf kind of run out. And he's got these two barrels just like hoiked <laughs> on a shoulder each. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just imagining this tiny dwarf with two giant barrels on they're his shoulder. They're not like wine barrels. They're like, oh, how big would they be? Eggs. They're like, they're... eggs are not that big. Yeah. It's not like a wine keg. It's probably about um, half the size. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Like, yeah, cool. Little beer kegs are tiny. Yeah, well, they're actually metal kegs. These are, oh yeah, about the same size as a beer keg, but these are kind of like just wooden ones. And he just runs, okay. always got these wrapped around both I, arms. I, I'm still imagining this like wharf with these kegs running excitedly towards us. Horses, are you there? I'm here. You see the short stock you kind of dwarf, <laughs> well gone, run up to you, horses. Take these, will you? And he hoiks um, both of them, both of them towards you. Also, uh, attempts to catch them. <laughs> you manage to grab both of them in some kind of like a balancing uh, arm, and you're like trying to hold them against your body. They're pretty heavy, and you don't see. Roll a roll a dexterity check for me, please. Two 
Saving throw. I don't know, that's what I was asking. Check or saving throw. Check. Did I do that right? Sure did. Oh. Didn't do it well. Um. Who's standing closest to Herbert to us uh, to Orsus now? We have the Kyra. Yeah, I'm watching them. Okay, can you roll me a, a Dex save, please? Kill Anthakira with kegs. I'm oh, just gonna break the kegs. Be good. This was. Orthus, you kind of lose one of the kegs out of your arm. It just slips. Anthakira, you see it, and you kind of go to grab it, and you don't kind of catch it at all. But you smack it into Orsus' leg a little bit and it kind of rolls off and then kind of lands on the ground. It smacks the ground a little bit, but everything's kind of still there. Oh, good job, Antho. You saved it. Just. <laughs> it's like you got a little bit of a shake out of the, the end and there's a little bit of kind of be go like go on the floor, but then you just to cap it and kind of it's all good um meanwhile while this event's happened the dwarf is LeBron back off oh my god how many kegs is he grabbing and then you hear another on the bar in the front and everyone's like what the fuck is going on <laughs> in the tavern and you see this is not this dwarf run back out right that's one of each here you go and he chucks you a keg and he chucks her to a keg both of you roll me a, a dex check, please. I'm expecting this through coming. I want to cast Guidance on myself before he comes back, because I can see he's running with him. Okay. <laughs> cool. Seven both, seconds. Both of you catch them pretty easily. And you now have one keg each, which is kind of more than enough. Right. Cesar, you know the deal. Let him know. Spread the word. Get these fucking trees out of here. Tell everyone to buy them. Come back here and get them. We'll do. We'll do. Right. Hey, keep in mind, if these drinks go off, I might look and share in the pro share some of the profits with you. Uh, you don't have to do that. This is this is. Uh... But if you do, uh, you can oh, business arrangements can be taken care of at our guild hall. Uh, <laughs> it's located just here on the map. <laughs> so you're doing this with a cake in hands? Handle it. Me, he's giving me the yeah. cake. I give her the cake. I whip out our map. I show where where our guild hall is and um, tell him Artlin uh, is uh, who you should speak to. Artlin. Jeremy, have you considered a non-alcoholic line of of beer? Jeremy, What's is that something that you, we could we could who, like? Who, maybe... who are you looking at when you talk to when you talk to, when you say that? The dwarf. Okay, cool. So he, he looks at you, Orsus, and then he's like, and he looks behind you. Who the fuck are you talking to? <laughs> He's really bad with names. Or, or, oh, 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 I'm so sorry. Um, I, yep, um, Herbertor's right. I am I'm not the best. I'm working on it, though. I'm not going to put myself down. I'm going to... Some positive reinforcement. I am doing better with names. Um, but I do occasionally fuck it up. Um, pretty bad. He barely yeah. remembers our names. And... I remember your name really, really well. You're... Anyway. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Love right. that I forgot your name earlier <laughs> and your character's like oh. Orsus. It's Orsus, right? Yeah, yeah, no. I get it. I, El Garn. El El Garn. El Garn. Yes. El Garn. El Garn. Cool, El Garn. 
Elgarn, Elgarn, Elgarn. Elgarn. Hey. I'm going to like find some <laughs> mimetic way of remembering that. He holds out a fist to you for like a fist bump. Yeah, I'm going to return that fist bump. You got it. He breaks his wrist. <laughs> breaks his wrist. <laughs> <laughs> he smacks you with a... He smacks you with a freaking fist. And you kind of go, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a bit, he's a bit full on this dude. <laughs> Maybe you could teach me some some boxing if we if we get time later. Um, although I think we're we're pretty pressed for time. We want to try and get on that ship and you know spread this spread this joy around and get get a name for this stuff um, really out there. Um, but also, I mean, give some thoughts on some like non-alcoholic beer because um, you know I'm, I'm trying to cut back a little bit of alcohol and I still enjoy beer. Um, so you know, it'd just be good to have like a healthier alternative um, for people to have. You know, just uh, healthy. What are you talking about? To be the, inclusive. The hair, you know, the hairy cleric's healthy. Is it? The hair, the, hair, the hairy cleric's just really sweet, nice tasting water. Ah, oh, well, that's cool. Um, maybe I could get in on that. Maybe I could invest on the in the hairy cleric and um, yeah, see if we can help build that business up. That is what Shall we're I doing with delivering these kegs. Very cleric, my brain just goes. All right. Cool. Well, look, horses. If the happy wanderer doesn't work out, and it's not for you, we can always change it up and mix it up. Oh no! I mean, I, I love. I'm. I'm very honoured by the Happy Wanderer. It's. It's lovely. Um, I just. Yeah, I've just been. Been reading a little bit about you know my health lately, and um, I was just trying to cut back a bit on the, on on the alcohol because um, um, not not to to yes. judge anybody else. I just I just want to look after my body. That's all. You know, it's, it's a temple. Himself on the belly. <laughs> it's, it's not always a temple. He, he pats himself on the belly, and you basically just see like a large, nice kind of beer keg. He's like, "My body's definitely a temple here." Yeah, cool. And also pats him on the belly too. <laughs> His belly's a lot lower to the ground. You understand this, right? Yeah, I'm okay with bending over. Also, is pretty flexible. He does his morning yoga. To be fair, a dwarf is shorter, yes, but they're not that much shorter. No, not that much shorter. But Orsus, Orsus is pretty tall, though. Orsus is pretty tall. <laughs> so he's Anto. still. It's still not like hey, like you're patting a bloke on the belly because you kind of stand side by side with him. It's like patting like a small child on the belly because like they're a lot lower, and it's like okay, slightly awkward kind of interaction. And he kind of just looks at you and goes. <laughs> and smacks you on the belly as well. <laughs> uh, L, you're a good fella. This whole right. interaction is so fucking weird. Get out of here. Get those drinks to those sailors. Tell yes, them to sir. Come here. We'll be here all week. All right. Off we go. And I'll speak to Ireland. And I'll have a chat to him. We might head north after this. We'll see how we go. Or there's lots of kind of men needing some brews. Right. And what, while we can get across to, um, he will mention that he will try to go to a location, which um, will be, yeah, he would just say he's like looking to head to the Wesian uh, Protectorate um, afterwards. So you'll hear that kind of little bit of information um, before you guys leave. File that away. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I don't know if we've got much. Anyone got anything else we need to do today? Uh. <laughs> I'd just like to... Okay. Back in sleep, I guess. Back in sleep? Cool. So you um, guys head up the stairs outside of um, the brewery and you kind of find yourselves like walking home or walking back to the tavern with a keg in each arm. Uh, I feel like I'd be carrying two kegs. I don't want Oh, sorry, you have one. one. You have you have two kegs. You have the keg that Herpital had. No, I take mine back. She's carrying Anthocaris. 
because Anthakar is the book. Offense, Anthakar, but yeah, you're not very strong. I have a strong hand. And a strong mate's hand. Strong hand. <laughs> a strong hand. Herbitor's carrying two. No, Sans is carrying two. Herbitor's carrying one. Horses is carrying another one. But Anthakar is basically casting the mage hand to basically direct horses. <laughs> <laughs> exactly where to go. Yeah, and I'm holding books. I'm good. <laughs> um, right, cool. Are you, like, holding books? Is there a particular way you're doing that? Like, are you kind of, like, having the spectral hand, like, hold the book and you're reading it as you're kind of going on? <laughs> no, that'd be cool, but the the hand is necessary for Orsus. I've just okay. got them tucked under my arm. I'm not reading them at the moment. You holding them to a chest. You have them both there. Done. Um, you guys make your way back into the tavern. The tavern is kind of a little bit more lively, but not that much. Um, there is a, a little bit of music playing at the moment. Um, aside from that, there's only guards that are kind of standing out. Um, you do see... Says that you pick out the large uh, guard that was there, and you do got you do guys. Sorry, the large guard that was at the gardens, the one your interrogator. Oh, that guy. He is drinking there with two other guards. Oh, so you I, pick I, him out. I am a glare and then keep moving. He doesn't really spot you as you kind of like he's just drinking having a conversation. You do see two other like nobles that are drinking there that kind of look to be slightly out of place, but they are it is what it is. Um, aside from that, you guys are basically there. You're bringing Grog and the barkeep's like is this a Delivery? No. Yeah, we're gonna deliver it tomorrow morning to you guys, to someone else. Right? No. no. The answer is no. So, what can I do for you this evening? Uh, we need a room. Actually, we need two rooms. We need sure sufficient not. rooms. It's two rooms? I don't know. I don't remember how many beds uh, are the in the two, two beds in this room. Two beds in a room in this room. Uh, this, sorry, tavern. You'll get there um, eventually. Yeah. yeah. One day. Um, right. Well, just five gold for all for both rooms. I give him five gold. Um, do you guys want anything from the kitchen? Or any drinks? Pretty good. Cool. What time is it? Uh, it's sunset now already, so it's kind of getting pretty late. It's not. We have an early morning. morning. We have do have morning. a very early morning, so uh, yeah. Cool. You guys make your way into the rooms. How are you splitting the rooms up? Girls to boys. Mhm. Cool. That works. Right. Uh, anyone doing anything in particular before they go to bed? I have two things I need to do. Cool. One is I'm just going to send a message to Artlan and let him know that he might get a stop by of the um, LD's travel and caravan to talk business. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is I'm going to use my tattoo immediately. What's your tattoo again? Identify. Okay. On what item? The Orb of Dragonkind. Not that you already know now? I know what it is because of the legend lore. Mm hmm. Great. But just the properties I want to know. The properties. I will tell you the properties. Uh, so, you will send a message to Arland, initially. Mm -hmm. Arland will get... Oh, okay. Well, we'll look forward to, um, 
to meeting them. I'll have words with him. In did he, wait, did you say anything? No, you didn't say anything. I, I'll have a chat to him. Yeah, it was just he come to talk business. Yeah, you you all kind of get something across the way that Arthur uh, will get the gist of what you're trying to say. He, he, he's on the up and up. Uh, yeah, I do have it. Oh, we didn't have it. That's fine. It's cast, and you can DM it to me later because I don't think anything's going to happen within the next hour. See one? No, I have it here. Uh, I have it here, but <laughs> it's an unidentified item, and the identified item version is missing. Just have the, the, the three things written down. Yeah, I'll find them. I had, I had it somewhere. Do I just not have... Oh, it's in the bag of holding. That's why I can't see it. Oh, no, I have it here. What's everyone else doing while um, we're identifying the orb? No, it says action. I'm going to activate one of my tattoos. Mm -hmm. What are your dragon? What are your tattoos doing again? Everyone I what a spell. Find familiar. Find Just familiar. Mm -hmm. And I would like. Are you naming the weasel? I will. Mm -hmm. um, I will name it in a moment. Um, I will add a weasel to the, the game. Um, fix that up for you so you'll have a weasel for next session. Um, and you can kind of name the weasel and do everything from there. But for now, you have a weasel. Is there any particular colour for the weasel? I'll send you a pic. Yep, cool. Send me a picture. We'll go. Can I go from there? What color is the fur? I will send you a pic. Can you tell me or no? I, I don't know what type of weasel. Uh, I'm thinking like you know those brown ones with the like white underbelly. Okay. And, you know your typical weasel. Brown fur, white underbelly. There's a significant yeah. white kind of underbelly marking that you kind of identify and recognize as. It. We'll go from there. Um, if you literally just Google weasel, yeah. watch the first pick is what it, I... It'll probably be different search results based on each of Is it the Wikipedia one or is it the... Yeah, fact the Wikipedia one. Um, I like the fact it's about the weasels uh, is the same. It's the Wikipedia Stimulant. one, basically. So, um, I now have the properties for you. This is the properties I've selected. While attuned to the artifact, you gain resistance to acidic damage. Or acid damage. Okay. While attuned to the artifact, you cannot be charmed or frightened. Mm -hmm. While attuned to the artifact, you are blinded when you are more than 10 feet away from it. Mm. Now, I'm yes. oh, sorry. Yep. And before using the artifact's property as an action, you must use a bonus action yeah, I know that one. Oh. to draw blood, either from yourself or from a willing, willing or incapacitated, willing or incapacitated creature within your reach. Using a piercing or slash weapon, the subject takes one d4 damage of the appropriate type. Aside from those random properties, um, That's the standard thing. The orb gives you the spell which has seven charges, which regains 1d4 plus three expended charges daily at dawn. 
If you control the orb, you can use your action to expend one more charges and cast the following spells. Heal wounds. It'll drag kind of from here on out, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's an yeah. dragon point, yeah. So everyone, yeah. Will, everyone will hear what it is, um, just so you know. Okay. Um, so metagaming it, although the only person that kind of would see this would be Herbator. Are you doing it within her... Uh, sorry, or her Ulster's presence? Yeah, well, I, don't, I don't know if he knows about magic. I mean, if you've got the... I, I take it you haven't got the item there that we can just throw it into the chat there. I can. Just post it into our chat. Go players, make all visible to all. There you go. So that's the orb of dragon kind that everyone now knows that you guys have. Oh, it's pretty. Mm. Yes. So it is. A very powerful artifact that you guys have possession of. Um, Orsus, you would kind of see this uh, solely for the fact. Are you guys gathered in one room before you guys head off, or are you guys separated no, into different rooms? Just we're in our bedrooms. Orsus is seeing the orb. It's the first time Orsus has seen the orb. Um, originally, it's possession. It's you keep it in the bag of holding, correct? I do. Antikara. Which is going to lead to a technical question soon. What's that? The 10 foot distance. If it's inside the bag of holding, is it more while than 10 you, foot While away? you're attuned to the artifact. Mm hmm. Yes, yeah, that's what I'm asking. So the bag of holding exists but doesn't exist. Yeah. The portable uh... hold, the location is next to me. I'll come up with the mechanics for that because I think if I think it's... I'm, I feel like I've read something about it, I'll see if I can find any prior precedents. Yeah, for I'll, it. Have a, I'll have a look. Um, but I feel for this mechanic, it may it may yes, may be more than ten feet away. But I'll I'll have a look into that. Um, I'll see how I want to rule that mechanic. Um, Anthakara, you get. The strange feeling the moment the orb is dragged out of the bag while you're in your room with Cesar. Is Cesar taking you out while in the room? No, no. I have. Herbitor has it in his room. Oh, well, man. Right, right. Away from us. Yeah. Yeah, you're not in the room, but you feel its presence the moment it exits the bag. Damn. Are you hanging It's in not room? my... Oh, uh, at the time. It's not my mage hand just, like, tap me on the shoulder, is it? It's just kind of like an intuition that you can tell. I think she can tell that it's the old dragon kind, unless she remembers that it's, that's what it felt like last time, but, but she can feel a magical power nearby. <laughs> I can just sense something. Yeah, right. You feel, like, the, same, you feel the same sense that... You originally found this orb um, underground. You felt the pull from underground. When you were at the at the the underground cave. The you, spider thing, yep. Yeah, yeah. Wispy yeah. thing, yep. Correct. So you I forgot we had that, that. Literally because of that. And this is this is the only time after that that the bag, the the thing has been pulled. Not true. Actually, sorry. Apart from when Herbator did Legend Law, which you would know, you felt its presence then. You feel feel its presence now as it's removed from the bag. Has Cesar felt it too? Oh, I'm not very mag not very magically gifted. Okay. Well, I've sent something. I kind of perk up and say, Cesar, do you feel that? What? I think I think the I feel the presence of the orb, the thing that we found underground. Do you remember that? Herb's probably playing with it. Do you want to go have a look? Let's go for a walk. Walkies. You guys walk out of your room, close your door, and then kind of knock on the door. Um, 
of horses in Herb Tool's room. I'm assuming yeah. Herb Tool's. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> My precious. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. I thought you were like Emperor Palpatine, just like. <laughs> what Sorry to this. Like? <laughs> you guys. Uh, oh, horses. Are you you hear the knock on the door? Horses. Probably before Herbertor while he's kind of mid casting. Hello. To be clear, it is only an action spell. Oh yeah, true. It is because it's yeah. That's the thing. Action and instantaneous. So yeah, because it's not a it's not a ritual. Sorry. Correct. I'm thinking in my current campaign where all I do is ritually cast it. Identify. <laughs> well, in this case, I can't ritually cast it because if I could from the tattoo, that would be amazing. <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> I don't think I have that option. No. Out of curiosity, it's one use. <laughs> hmm. So you enter the room as you see the orb. In Herbertor's hands, spinning it like a basketball. Um, hmm. Yeah, I would say it's like it's slightly you're it's slightly kind of levitating a little bit. The the radiance you kind of feel as you identify it. Or no, no, I won't say it's levitating at all. It, it's literally just held in your hand. Yeah, you you do you do feel um, feel feel you do feel a connection to this for some reason it's unsure why who's that but you particular her at all it's unsure why but you feel that this object somehow there's more to this Um, it's talking to me. Is this me no, thinking no, it? No, talking to me. After oh, okay. Spell. Aside from that, it'll allow you to class cure wounds at fifth level. Three charges. Daylight. One charge. You can charge death ward. Two charges. Scrying. Three charges. You can also use your action to cast a tech magic spell from the orb without using any charges. Yeah. You can also call dragons. While okay. you control the orb, you can use your action to cause the artifact to issue a telepathic call to, that extends in all directions for 40 miles. Evil dragons in range will feel compelled to come to the orb as soon as possible by the most direct route. Dragon deities such as Tiamat are unaffected by this call. Dragons drawn to the orb might be hostile towards you for compelling them against their will. Once you've used this property, it can't be used again for an hour. So it, all dragons can hear it, but only evil dragons are compelled. Uh, good question. It says call dragons. Yeah, it says call dragons. Um, it has a specific clause for them to be compelled. And it has a specific clause saying Tiamat is unaffected. Who knows? That seems like a terrible idea. Well, the orb is the green dragon kind. It is so the green if there is an orb of um, other dragon kind, or black dragon kind, or, or, or sorry, metallic dragon kind, mm, which I'm not sure if there is. They don't tend to exist for the metallic dragons. It's specifically against evil dragons. Yeah. They forge. So, I mean, if you're going by the law of the object, yeah. they forge five orbs of dragon kind. Mm -hmm. um, to defeat the dragons, one orb was taken from each of the f of the five towers. It's it's chromatics. Yeah, it's five chromatics. I'll, I'll see how it's going to work mechanically with your with lore, metallics. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I'll still kind of look with the law with kind of I still t stick with this kind of law from it. Um, it would be fun to be able to just go, hey, <laughs> all the dragons. But Help. yeah, whether it's going to work with. Chromatic I mean, or with metallics? It may, only, it may only have may have no effect on metallics at all. That's at the end of the day, I yeah, that's you'll know that green dragon green dragon wands are drawn to this. Dragon borns? Sorry, dragon wands. Dragons. Sorry, green dragons. Um, sorry, fix the wording up on that. Evil dragons. Green normally are evil. 
Um, yeah, as per wording. Okay, so yeah. you're saying it doesn't affect other evil dragons? I'm not saying that at all. Okay, but I'm cool. saying you would know that. You don't know how it's going to act with metallics. Yeah. You know metallics exist here. Mm. You want to use it? Fuck no. Be my um, guest. I'm going to assume <laughs> I need to be. I need to control the orb. I need to be attuned to the orb, and that seems bag of holding. Okay. I will. I will convey to Anthakaira because she's the only one who will probably understand the exact ramifications, mm -hmm. what it does, what it can do. And even the legend lore information I acquired in the past. Right. Anything you want to say in the car, or you're cool with that? Um, I'm cool with it. I just have to wrap my head around it a bit more. I mean, that's fair. It's a powerful artifact. Yeah, I'm a bit. I probably need a bit more practicing in the art. I think you would be the most capable. Good. I'll just figure out how to use it first. You have to. So, while attuned to the orb, you can use an action to peer into the orb's depths and speak its command word. You must then make a DC fifteen charisma check. On a successful check. You, are con you control the orb for as long as you remain attuned to it. On a failed save, you become charmed by the orb. Ooh, charmed there. And it will charm you to do evil things. Oh, Eva. I wonder if it would work on Orsus. I reckon he would just be immune to it. Uh, no, he would not be immune to it. I just mean because he's so cheery. I can't imagine him being I bad. think it's going to work on him because he's not very charismatic. Burn. Mechanically speaking, you are the best bet for it. But um, in the, I'm, if it's alright with you, I'm going to toss it back in the bag of holding. Yeah, please do. It gives Work me the GBs. It goes back in the bag of holding, Jason. Cool. The orbs in the bag of holding. Sick. Right, you're all gathered in one room. You've all seen the orb, and it's like, okay, back in the bag. What's everyone doing? I'm like, cool. I'm going to bed. We have an early morning to worry. Yeah, I'll come with you. Uh, you two doing anything before bed schedule? Uh, skip to our room, maybe. I'm just activating my tattoo. That's it. That's that's all I'm doing. Horse, is there anything you're doing before bed? Activating sleep mode. Activating sleep mode. Cool. You see, horse is basically straight in bed, and I was just sitting there, kind of like, cool. Horse is already like half asleep. Oh no, it takes horse a good hour to fall asleep. Okay. Cool. Um. Too much on his mind. Right. So from here then, no one wants to do anything particular before they go to bed. No. Nope. Everyone can take a long, a successful... Everyone take a long rest. Because Seth is still hurt from... From Having what? the... Oh, that, yeah. Best piece thingy coming off. I don't like that you rescinded saying successful. Yeah, no, sorry. I don't like to say successful and then kind of take it back. So I don't want to say successful and then I removed it from you, but I'll say successful. Successful. You all successfully take one rest. Um, in the I am the fully camp. healed now. Cool. Um, you all successfully take a long rest. However, everyone is passed out as a light. Herbator, you wake what you feel like is already morning. Your eyes, as you lay in bed, are lit up from the outside. My eyes are lit up, as in a light's come on in the room. 
as in not necessarily a light, but you feel like it's morning, like you've slept in. Okay. We missed our boat. I'd say Sorry, that, that with was me. That the was recent events, knowing that the sun's not going to rise up before six. Oh, sorry. Some days it does, um, but here at the moment, the sun's not. A, sun normally doesn't arise before six. You wake up in a short panic. Mm -hmm. The light right. that illuminates your entire room, like it fills the room with a white, pristine, golden light. you see a large figure basically hovering in the air. Okay. A little bit of fire. No, what's it look like? You see the white golden cloak of the figure, the woman you've been looking for the one you seen in your first original dream to ask you to come and find her you rise up out of your bed Herbital. your good deeds do not go unnoticed but I have a need for you the future is dark and grim and plans have been made and actions have been set you are needed you are needed for the light of pelt Follow your actions. Continue to do good for others. Look after the citizens of the world. Above all, all else. We need your abilities. You need to take the light and take it now in full force. I gift you a new power. One that I hope you will find needed in these dire trying times. And you kind of like look around. You can see Orbitor, like, sorry, Orbitor, Orsus. It's like the third time I confused both your names. Orsus, like, out like a light, kind of slightly snoring but he snores uh, kind of deafened by the celestial being now in front of you mm -hmm. you kind of sit up from your your bed but then kind of turn around and you kind of see your physical form laying down fast asleep We're projecting somewhat yeah exactly you your body feels projecting in inside the room in kind of another kind of sensation of yourself is there anything you'd like to say what do i need to do follow the light You will notice me as you journey onwards. I will not interfere in your actions, but I will guide where I can, where I am allowed. Who are you? I 
I am a guide, a light of your Lord. Consider me an extension of himself. That's pretty legit. Now and feel your powers change. And you see this kind of light, you feel the light kind of illuminate with such like a radiant warmth that the room just begins to kind of glow pure white light kind of fills out from this room as the entity kind of in the white cloak kind of dissipates behind such bright lights and you kind of just like feel kind of driven back into your your own being as you kind of wake slightly from the dream your room pitch black dark and you can just hear horses Snoring off in the side. There's like a small little candle that just flickers. Okay. But it flickers in a way that for a split second, you think that you see the image of a white cloaked figure in the, in the flame. Cool. Okay. And with that, everyone successfully takes a long rest. Sick. Um, is anyone setting a time? Is everyone kind of knowing what time they're getting up? Is everyone trying to get up or resting at the time? I mean, says it's up pretty early anyway. So she would be up, ready to, to... I'd imagine we probably only took a standard long breath mm. and, like, not a not a sleep until it's time. Yeah. You basically early. just... You were out at, like, 8 or 8.30. Um, Perfect. And, like, at, up really early, kind of ready to go in the morning. Yeah. I mean, that's 4 a.m. and the ship, they said to meet them early. You hear one or two birds on the, um, you don't hear much in the morning. Um, you hear like one or two birds kind of like chirping, like outside the window as, as most of you kind of wake, um, two, um, it says that you would kind of wake first and kind of, um, would you rock Antikara awake or would Antikara yeah, yeah, already yeah. be awake? Um, I get up, I, Cesar would get up really early, so, you know, I'd probably wake her up. I do like a bit of a sleep in sometimes. Mm -hmm. Also, so are you feeling the same? You're kind of out <laughs> snoring or? No, also, so we like brought up an early, um, a couple of hours before the sun. You've already got a brew, a brew going. Kind of thing before Herbert talk kind of gets out of bed. He's probably doing yoga. <laughs> yeah, doing, doing yoga. Um, I know. believe we have we have spoken about him um, sunning the perineum in the past. Yeah, I agree. I agree. The sun in the morning. It's good. There's, there's no Wait. sun yet. There's no sun yet. Are you doing yoga to the window with no sun? The yeah, I'll be. I'll be ready. I'll be it's like fully in nice. a great state of by the by the time the sun comes up. Just down the balls. Oh, you bitches grow. Are we literally doing this? It's done. Okay. <laughs> Herbitor, you wake up in the morning. Mm -hmm. And you see the blinds of the room pull wide open. And also, are you wearing anything? Nope. <laughs> Is fully stretched up. Ass to the sky, hands down, kind of arching his back, stretch, stretching his legs up, and you see. Uh, also, it's another 
It's another morning sharing. Can room. you roll me a d8, please? Me? Just, yeah. This is to see how well you're wiped. No. You want to roll a d8? I'm oh. looking for them. I always struggle with d8s. They're like the two pyramids, ass to ass, yeah? Yes. That's the one. Why is that so funny? Herbidor, you see a well-hung Orsus just oh. sunning himself Did to we the roll window. Or Herp and Herp had a big one too. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, the, the I'm a half giant, so it was a D12. <laughs> oh my god, this is getting great. <laughs> We're comparing sizes now. Is this what's happening? I don't know, but it's, I'm allowing it's already, it. It's already a. It's already canon. Yeah, it's I have canon. it in my. I have it in my appearance. It's the only thing listed in my appearance. <laughs> it's like red hair, blue skin, garbage dick. Is that what I was all, what I was rolling for? Yes. Apparently, you only got to roll a d8. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I maxed out on that. <laughs> um. Yeah. All right. But yeah, Herbert also is literally just signing himself. Pretty empty sun. Yep. I'm ready. Right. Ready to receive its glorious light. Well, we need to get moving before the sun rises, also. So, um, my name's. Oh, do are up. you sure? Uh, we're meeting. We were meeting them at the dock before sun up. Oh, okay. All right. Um, also, just like quickly finishes his stretch and then, yep, gets up and one last deep breath before getting dressed. He looks a little bit sad as he puts his clothes on. Okay. Um, at some point, I will have the ability to summon a sun for you whenever you need. Oh, that would be great. Oh, yeah, I actually, I have, daylight. No, <laughs> okay. no, I have dawn. I have dawn. All oh, right, okay, cool. So I think that'll blind him. I'll have to look at the dawn spell. I haven't used it yet. It's um, forty ten radiant damage in a cone in a <laughs> cylinder. Yeah, just straight in the anus. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's just, I'm just picturing. Has anyone seen Naruto? It's just like the. You haven't seen Naruto? You, you, you. It's just like, and then, but only if we were watching the stream would we have seen whatever you did. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So, where, um, what's his name? Freaking I don't know. The yeah, main exactly. trainer. The sun bleaching a man's asshole, Green. Yeah, you it's, yeah, it. yeah. It's the sun bleaching man's asshole. But I'm just imagining Naruto. Um, Kakashi, just like fingers of death, where he just stabs his fingers into oh Naruto's gosh. asshole. And this is how Herbator casts Dawn. He just gets the fingers and goes straight into the asshole and casts Dawn out of his fingers and blasts. It has a 60 foot range. I would not do that. <laughs> Orsus oh. just goes blasting 60 feet in the air. <laughs> Shit. I mean, that's one way to wake up, I guess. <laughs> that would the be fuck funny. It's a sunburst pendant. You tell me. Anyway, moving on. You guys all wake up. You grab your, you grab your ales. You grab the kegs, and you basically make your way to the dock. Outside is pretty much pretty quiet. Um, there's a couple of wagons coming from the docks, um, heading out down some of some of the main roads. Um, and you can see one boat has already left and is leaving down past the, the what's his name? Um, you guys make your way to the docks where you find old mate Whitley. Whitley! Ready there on the corner. Whitley, Whitley, Whitley. Says, ah! It's I gone. have not only brought you one keg, but four kegs of brilliant brew. He's like stares at you like in amazement. He's like, "How am I um, going to get these? How am I going to get these on? Four kegs." What? I mean, it's a it's a merchant ship, isn't it? Yeah, but how am I going to sneak these on, Cesar? 
you'll just pretend that they're stock. How big is the bag of holding? I know how to sneak shit on, Cesar. I'm just pulling your leg. <laughs> he gives you a big slap in the arm. Um, I growl a little. Then give him a cheeky grin. <laughs> um, I give him the name of each brew. Mm -hmm. And tell him that these were specifically made by... Do you down? I... L and D. Is that right? L and D. Yep. Or um, L D's for short. Or L D. Um. Brew. <coughs> and you should spread the word about how delicious these particular brews are. Which one do I try first? Uh. Well. You're a hearty man. I think you should t take the Demon Slayer. Right. I'll have to have a, a, a swig of it when I get back on the boat. Right. Well. Can we hand these off to someone while we go and uh, talk to mm -hmm. our dear friends on the other boats? No, look, let me introduce you to someone I know. Okay. I follow. Um. You see Whitley kind of like, boys, grab these kegs, get them on, get them on the ship. Um, come, oh, says it. Rufa, Rufa, over here. How you going? This is my um, my old companion, old friend, Cesar. I mentioned before. They're looking for passage down the riverway. You reckon you can help them out? Uh, you see this kind of... Um, uh, where is my... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Two seconds. You see a female? Mm -hmm. Human? Mm -hmm. She's very young. Mm -hmm. Um, bald head, okay. brown eyes, mm -hmm. um, very rugged kind of, um, kind of reddish kind of skin to a degree, like kind of just really kind of like been working in the sun, kind of some like slightly burnt, um, stands about 4'11", so very short. Very short, very yeah. short. Reg regular build, uh, for all the short kings, um. Very oval face, and just got a, she's got a scar on her left arm. She sounds adorable. Yeah. She's just, like, fidgeting with uh, a knife in one hand, like a little kind of carp, like a paring knife. And you, you've got she's got an apple and bits and pieces in the other hand. Right? Well, she got her on a boat? Am I, I good on a boat? Well, Roll for boat goodness. I'm asking the question. Whereabouts are you guys headed? Id. Right. Well, we can um, definitely head that way. It's on our route. Uh, why is it not loading my map? Here we go. We gotta travel as far as Elsted. So I can drop you off at Neard. Um probably be a few days. Shorter than on foot. Hmm. Well, the river barges don't travel that fast. But not much a little bit faster than foot. So we'll get that sooner than you were expecting anyway. Amazing. Of course, we would be working on the boat. Uh, we do not just expect free passage. You're getting free rides, so that's what Willie told me. Willie told me you were pretty good with a boat, so you'll be able to figure it out. It's a little bit different than a ship, but heck, you'll be able to sort yourself out. Moving I mean, we've been crew. on a little boat before, too. We stole a little boat. You, as the DM, not to her. 
You stole a boat. It was, you it was didn't a steal dinghy. a barge. Yeah. It, no, it was a little boat. It wasn't a dinghy because we would not have survived at sea. It was a little bit bigger than a dinghy, but it was, you know, big enough. Yeah, it was a tiny little sail slash rowboat. Yeah, pretty much. It's but fine. You know that you, you know that boat that Jack Sparrow steps off the tip of the mast on as it sinks right at the shock at the sh at the dock. Yeah, like that, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. Um, anyway. So your little river barge is a little bit bigger than that. Push it, put push it in a dinghy, and you help me half stub. Could push it into in a dinghy. And half stub. Um, the river barge is slightly bigger than that. So you'll find your way around. Just follow the rest of the crew and go from there. Um, apart from your friends and compatriots, they'll be able to help move. They can lift crates, can't they? Ah, uh, these two burly men can definitely uh, pull the weight of multiple men. Right. See those crates over there? And she points to like a section of the dock where there's large corona crates kind of basically just sitting on the dock front. Those have to get on this barge. Um. And I won't turn down free labor. So you guys can get started on that, load it up, and we'll be out of here around well hopefully quick so seven at the earliest so if you guys can get that done we'll get on our way and get shipped out all right we do that as for you what can you do a or is she talking to no, Anthakara? she's pointing directly towards Anthakara. power is falling asleep just fyi jason i'm aware uh she just stepped away from the computer she is our academic. Um, I will pull the weight for both me and her. You can pull some weight. Oh. You do some crew stuff. I'll get her to look over some of my books <laughs> and see if she can pinpoint some other pin spaces. So. Sure. Do you some creative accounting for her. I may, I may have a use for for her before the day is done well that's not right. ominous. we'll get to those crates now so that we can get Owen you'll address me as Rutha or captain aboard this vessel aye captain aye aye captain Jesus well uh... We'll get loaded and get on by seven. So get get your gear ready and we'll go from there. I'm pretty sure all our gear's on us. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, she wants um, the gear that she's indicated on the boat. Uh, so right, right. I'll let you guys get that sorted. That's where we'll basically leave the session as you guys are getting on the barge um, and getting ready, ready to head down river. Um, One one thing I'd like to add in, seeing as I had a lot of extra words, can I have advised Artland that we'll be heading off and that our horses are at the inn? I mean, I'd cast a second spell last night. Cool. A second sending. Yep. Yeah. Oh, uh, you had some free spell slot, so you can basically yeah. recast it as what's his name just from there. So I'll work on that. That's probably fine. Um, good catching up and making sure that your horses don't get left behind. Again. Actually, no, we haven't left any horses behind. We've sold horses. Yeah, you've yeah. sold horses. You've sold horses. Um, so we'll basically finish that off. We'll end the session here. We're going to do a quick little thing before we go, which we're going to go back in to fix up some bits and pieces. But we're going to do a gifted sub, and then I think Longbed was the only one that basically uh, jumped in. So we're going to gift a, a sub off to Longbed. Uh, long bed 87. You can have a little uh, cheeky gifted sub. I mean, that's the same person. That's the right person. And then we're going to do another one. For some random 
random follower is going to get a gifted sub. Who's it going to be? Round and round and round we go. Where does it stop? Nobody knows. Uh, Cheese factory. Why can't I gift again? Cheese factory. <laughs> gift to sub. One random gift to sub. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Finish purchase. Who gets it? Who gets it? OBM! You fucking OBM. <laughs> Congratulations, OBM. Congratulations, Longbed. We'll be doing another gifted sub off next fortnight. We'll tune in next fortnight for the recap. Well, the next session for this one, where everyone gets on a barge and sails down a river to Nerd. Um, row, row, row your boat. Tune in next fortnight next thursday um we'll be here yes and then following thursday to go down and see my sister so i'll be away uh actually confirming that's gonna be the thing holy shit completely forgot about it. Sorry, <gasps> that'll be the next thursday oh holy i won't shit. have my we stuff have... I'll, soon. I'll be in i'll be in queensland that'll be fun and exciting we'll be missing a session probably on the 29th but yes, the 15th, we'll tune in for the next session. We'll be online doing other bits and pieces in Brooklyn. But we'll say goodnight and adios to all our fellow players, Herbator, Cesar, Antikyra, and Orsus. And we'll see Bye. everyone. We'll see everyone next fortnight. Night night, peeps. Let's, Bye. Um, let's actually give a raid off to someone in particular. Is Who's doing D&D? &D? GM, GM, GM. GM Workshop's on. We'll raid, go raid GM Workshop. He's working on some other bits and pieces. Um, and he usually gives me some pretty good ideas. So we'll go and see what he's doing. I think he's playing uh, Twitch plays D&D. So anyway, we'll have some fun stuff coming up in the next couple of months. Tune in and we'll see everyone there. As for now, enjoy your night.